What's up everyone? This is Second Status and I'm here with a tutorial for you on how to create good looking emojis and emblems and all that with inside GIMP for your Discord or your Discord server. Now I am a part of the Clothespin server provided by Clothespins. Uh, he's a great uh, YouTube artist that does you know multiple things so I'll leave his channel in the description and the Discord invite link in the description in the video. Um, I am one of the moderators on there, and I created the uh, the avatar for the server, and I created some of these uh, some of these emojis. So I'm try I'm going to try to make this as basic as possible and I'll try to make this as streamlined as possible okay so you just minimize this so what you're gonna wanna do I use GIMP I've been using GIMP for the past five years and you know is I would say that it's essentially like Photoshop as long as you know what you're doing you know so I'm going to leave GIMP in the description as well it's completely free and it's I would say it's pretty easy to use um and what we're also going to do is we're going to find a photo so how do you find a photo to use so let's say I wanted to get a anime character like this one for example I found this character Bell Coronel by typing in Bell render uh, certain things might pop up like Zatch Bell that's the Zatch Bell render and a Bell render of a render of a actual bell but you know just as long as you are specific with the character that you want like if you type in Rowano Azoro render you'll find renders of them and what a render basically is is a PNG file of a certain object or character with no background you see this character bell right here and you should see the white and gray checker mark background that means that that uh, that pic this picture has transparency and so if I go ahead and right click on this image and go to open image a new tab the image is gonna have a back black background like this one okay so I don't I wouldn't I advise you not to right click copy image and paste image into GIMP because you can do that from the home page of GIMP but if you do that I said if you copy image and you do that there we go if you do that you'll end up with this and you know like this defeats the purpose of the render so Let's close this out. Your GIMP will look should look different. Uh, in order for you to get the full window mode like this, go ahead and go to Windows Single Window Mode, and then just maximize it. Okay. Okay. I had right clicked on the image and I downloaded it, and I opened it within GIMP. Um, you can either open it with file open or you can just drag and drop it um, so so to the left side you have various of tools that you can use you know you have the up top the selection tools right here um, this one you can select as a rectangle this one you can select as a circle this one you can select in points etc um if you in later tutorials I'll show you how to like properly mask an image out if you can't find a specific render that you want but either way this is the basic tutorial so we have this character and there's going to be a layer right here these this is going to be your layer folder in this tab right here open the layers dialog this is channels and then this is paths but focus on this one right now okay so if we right click on this image 
and we alpha to selection. Alpha to selection selects every existing pixel in this image. These are existing pixels. These are the pictures that are showing right now. So let's press Control A. Oops, Control A to select all. Now, if you notice, this picture is weirdly wide. Okay, so you can't. There are two methods. You wouldn't want to. Um, you wouldn't want to like export this out and then put it inside the Discord because. I'll show you right now why you shouldn't do it. So, I'll open this cord and I'll upload emoji. And I'll type in B for bell. And I'll put this in, right? That emoji is too big. So, you need you need emoji that is under a certain pixel size count, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this image actually let me show you the two ways so what you can do is you can go to image and then you can go to fit canvas to layers or selection and that can just um that changes the canvas like the canvas is everything that is not the gray. I'll show you. So I'm going to change the camera size down to right here. And you see this little bottom image? That's your preview. I'll put resize and you see that the gray has came up a bit. So this is the composition and everything that's beige and gray over here. This is not what's going to be shown. This is going to just be beige and shit. So anyways now the next method and the method I think you should be doing which is much easier is just right clicking alpha to selection control C to copy and then control shift V to paste it in a whole new layer now I don't know why it's not selecting I don't know why that happened that was here right here there must be something selected in there. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do the method again. Oh, there's something over here that's pre that's preventing it. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to cut this whole part out. See that if that does anything. Yeah, there you go. All right. Now you want the borders to be as close to the character as possible. You see right here, we have a little bit of space right here in between here. We want mostly all the character to be encompassed with inside the canvas, okay? So let me do this. I'm going to cut this part out with control X and then I'm going to alpha selection, control shift. I mean, I mean control C Control shift V and now it's closer so this sh I think this should be fine this is 547 by 576 it doesn't matter the size of the actual emoji what matters is the canvas size like what's showing okay if you if you catch my drift but um if it says that if I'll, I'll export this out and if it says it's uh, it's too big of a file size then I'll just um, image size the, the 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 picture so I'll go on my pictures I'll rename this bell care render enter and then make sure compression levels at nine and then export this now let's go to the discord and then upload it and then I'll type in bell character under that PNG and open it too big so let's go see how big exactly it is so this is 288 kilobytes so we're really close so 
let's go ahead and go to image scale image and then what we can do what the good thing you can do with GIMP is you can divide in times the uh, the value of the width and the height so making sure that this little link is selected and is linked it's unlinked now it's linked let's press the 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 the, the um the forward line I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I forgot what the fuck that's called and um that's that's the divide so we're gonna do this value divided by 1.5 and then scale now it's 365 by 384 now we just now we just you know we, we, we divided the value of the height and the width by 1.5 so this is 1.5 scale now well negative 1.5 scale and now let's export it as Bell character render replace it export it now let's open up discord and let's open this up and it's and it's right here so I'll put in I'll rename this as Bell or you know I'll put it as worried and I'll escape and it should be right here worried now this screen is a little bit too big and you might not be able to see the emojis that clearly so what you can do is you can go into your user settings and then go into your appearance and then just zoom in about 150 or 175 if you really can't see or that will escape and then we should be able to see this more a little bit more clearly right here so I'm not sure I'm not sure if there's anything else um let me show you let me show you how to do one I'll put I'll, I'll put in a regular bell honestly Try not to find the one that has watermarks on them, like I did one time. <laughs> okay, this is good. So, this image, this image is a JPEG, and it has white in it, okay? So let's copy this, and let's control paste, control C paste. So now it has white. Now how do we get rid of this white? let's go to this wand tool okay and let's click this white as you can see all of the white pixels are selected except for a little few as you can see this right here it has a little bit of white outline because of the deterioration of the pixels the the pixel the pixel displacement and if you press control X to cut it it looks a bit unclean you know so let's control Z two times for that you wanna click and hold and drag to the right side right the dragging to the right increases the threshold of the selection of what pixel you selected which basically means I selected white and as I'm dragging right the the selection for white is on a more broader scale of pixels okay and I think this is good enough so I'll let go and so now the line is much more cleaner and if I control X it's much more clean but you, you you don't you really don't even see anything at all so 
Let's do this up here too. Be careful not to pull out too much or else it will mix in with the actual image. Okay. Now we have a bell. Now let's alpha to selection this. Control X, Control V, Control Shift V, I'm sorry. Now it's inside its own little image and it's as close as we can get it to be. So let's export it as Bell. And now let's go onto the clothespin server, emoji, upload emoji, and bell. And it should be right here. Bell. Clearly visible. Looks pretty good. Awesome. So yeah, that I I feel like this is all that I should be able to show you as of right now. Um, thank you for watching this l quick little tutorial video. Um, I'll try to like edit out as fast as I can and just upload it as fast as I can. Um, but um, yeah. So make sure to check out some more of my YouTube videos. Uh, Go Tanks versus Vegito is indeed coming, and I am in the process of animating it. I just have a lot more other occupying opportunities to attend to <laughs> so yeah make sure to drop by the the close pins discord say hi you know we're all friendly here and you know just 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 keep a lookout for some new content uh my name is Kyrie Warren aka second status and peace out